Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please decide to join the queen bee family in this video i'm doing a well-deserved makeover for my bathroom continue watching so i'm just changing out my shower curtain i had a plain gray one that wasn't really doing anything to the bathroom so i decided to add a little pop of color and as you guys know, the theme to my house is teal. Um, so I incorporated some teal accents in the bathroom. And these little bling hooks was too cute. Everything I got is from Amazon. So if you guys want the links, I'll also post it in the comments. Eventually, I actually want to change um, my bathroom to a shower glass door. What do you guys think? Is it hard to clean or should I make that investment? Let me know in the comments. So in my last video, I did my prayer closet and there was supposed to be a part two but it actually wasn't long enough to do a full video. So if you guys stay till the end of this video, I'll um, show you the final look. Um, if you haven't watched the video for the prayer closet, stop this one, go watch it, and then come back to this one. Thank you. Now I know these curtains look crazy and I could steam them, but honestly guys, I am tired. I do not feel like steaming it. So hopefully the wrinkles drop off in a couple of days after taking some hot showers, but we'll see. So I'm down to my last hook and then I'm gonna show you guys um, what I got for the countertop. Those are from Amazon as well. They're um, really shiny and pretty for your toothbrush and soap. So this is the following weekend that I came back to finishing up the bathroom. I'm cleaning off the mirror because I'm going to be adding the um, mirror stickers that you guys will see in a few minutes. Um, and then I also have on a new hair, so new hair don't care. <laughs> but anyway, just clean it off the mirror and then I'll show you guys the next step. So these stickers are inspired by like the Versace um, sign that I saw from TikTok and I thought it was super cute, especially if you have like, I call this the old school mirror that the builders put in. Um, you can change out the mirror, which initially that's what I was planning on doing and putting two oval mirror by in front of each sink. But I opted for this route because it was cheap. I think it was $10 for a pack of 60, but again, I'll put the link in the description. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of measuring which direction I want the stickers to go. So be mindful of that because if you put it the wrong way, it'll look weird. So just um, before you peel out the sticky side, make sure you like where it's gonna go. Um, just a quick tip. There's also a clear protective um, sticker over the actual mirror so that way um, it looks um, like a mirror once you peel that off. So um, don't forget to do that as well. The process is not hard at all. It's just a matter of um, looking the direction each sticker is going to be placed. Once you get the hang of that, it's going to go by pretty quick. So I'm actually going to fast forward a little bit more. So that way you guys are not watching the whole process of me putting on the stickers. Now 
And also, if you make a mistake, you could always take a knife and get um, the sticker removed. It is pretty hard on there, so you know it is good quality, but you can remove it. It will break the mirror of the, the mirror sticker, not your actual mirror on your wall, but just keep in mind um, that it will break it. So just have enough and try not to make too many mistakes. So I'm thinking about um, painting because there's a couple of, you know, um, just fingerprints and just the high traffic areas um, that needs um, a touch up. So should I do it the same cream that it comes with so I don't have to do the whole entire bathroom and just touch up the needed areas or should I change the wall color altogether? Let me know what you guys think, and if I should change the wall color, what color do you guys suggest? So guys, let's talk credit. I'm going to go over a list of credit cards to apply for based off of beginners and then your secondary card. So grab a pen. I'm going to go through this list, jot down if you're in the beginner never applied for credit before don't have a first credit card the list goes from the first card i'm going to recommend is discover it is the student chrome card followed by the discover it student cashback card discover it secured credit card capital one platinum the pedal two visa the City Secured MasterCard, Capital One Quicksilver, Capital One Platinum Secure Card, Chase Freedom Student, Self Secured Card, and the Chime Credit Builder. Now the list for your secondary card. This is a card for somebody that have a 620 FICO score a utilization below 10% and no late payments in the last 12 months. So I recommend the Chase Freedom Flex Card, American Express Gold, Chase Freedom Unlimited, City Double Cash, Navy Federal Credit Union Credit Card, City Custom Card, and the American Express Blue Cash card Preferred. So again, this is not saying to apply for every single card. That's just a list that you could do your research to see which one have other perks that you um, find fit better with your lifestyle. But those are just my recommendations. And just in case my audience, I have a lot of students watching. Um, your first student credit card I would recommend would be the Discover It Student Cashback, the Capital One Saver One Student, Discover It Student Chrome, Chase Freedom Student, Capital One Quick Silver Student, Bank of America Travel Student, the City Student Plus, and Bank of America Unlimited Student. So this is just solely for somebody that's a student that's establishing their credit, these would be the perfect cards. But again, the list for the beginner's card goes for anyone that is establishing their credit. Um, so you could go between both lists and see which one is beneficial to you. So remember, you should always try to have between one to two credit cards. Don't go crazy with over applying for credit cards because the more cards you have, the more you have to keep them open because you know it's horrible to have your card closed on you because again, that impacts the credit age and the list goes on with closing out a card. So don't go crazy with having too many cards. Look at the list, pick one or two cards to apply for. If you're a beginner, start off with one of the cards um, get yourself acquainted to how to use the card, 
Um, keep your utilization between that one to three percent on any card that you have. So that way you're not hurting your credit when you're just starting off. And if this is your second card, same process, go pick one or two, um, utilize it, keep the utilization down before applying for a top three, a top tier card. I will go over a list of the top um, tier cards that I recommend, things that, you know, give you leisure as far as travel, rewards and so forth. But I want to focus on the beginners and the secondary cards for now. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment and I'll go in detail with any of the cards that I mentioned. Also, one other point, if you haven't already from my past videos, heard me mention credit is king. Um, do not use your debit card over your credit card. Learn how to use credit the right way so that you could reap all the benefits that credit have to offer as far as getting the lowest interest rates with your car um, when you're financing, your mortgage, and also the rewards that you get from using a credit card. Your debit card gives you absolutely no type of rewards. So if you need, again, me to go over how to use your credit cards, I'll be more than happy to do that. But stop wasting money because you're literally throwing money out the door when you use your debit card. So take that as a key takeaway and you'll be just fine. So my hubby is so sweet. He had got me this drink from Dunkin' Donut. It's their mango pineapple. Oh my God, it tastes so good. So I just took a quick little um, drink break, but I'm back to it. Again, this project is not hard. It's not even tedious. It's just long because you literally have to map out where the sticker is going, peel, stick, then remove the plastic film that's over it so don't be uh taken back by how long it's taken and where i'm at in the process because it did go pretty quick um but you know this is a video so the process may look longer than it actually is so i finished the top of the mirror off camera but i'm showing you guys the finished product and i absolutely love it the bathroom mirror is definitely elevated with this look. I'm also showing you guys that I put the till um, floor mats in front of the sink and in front of the tub. That actually also gave it a nice pop of color. Um, like I mentioned, I didn't do a full video of part two of the prayer closet, but I'm going to put a clip of the pictures that I added inside. So, um... The um, lights also um, was stapled gun because it was falling off with the sticker. So if you do put these in, keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.